What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy Dylan, and uh, look, I got some breaking news. Uh, some stuff just came over the wire. Uh, it's fresh off the presses, and I got it for you right here, right now. Um, before I get to that, though, uh, it looks like there are reports that Albert Wilson is healthy and ready for week one, so that's good news. Um, because we're going to need him for sure. Um, that's not the big news, the big breaking news. You know, we kind of expected that he was more than likely going to be ready for that game, especially since he's been, you know, held out the past couple weeks. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, the big news, which is actually uh, really concerning, especially considering some of these reports. So, apparently the Dolphins have cut offensive tackle Jordan Mills and tight end Clive Walford. Uh, according to Ian Rappaport, more Dolphins moves. The Dolphins have released offensive tackle Jordan Mills and tight end Clive Walford with injury settlements, source said. Both have short-term recovery period, periods. So they decided to cut another offensive lineman and uh, one of our tight ends, which was supposed to be, you know, one of our like blocking tight ends. That's, you know, what him and Dwayne Allen have done predominantly over the back ends of their career. So that just yet again weakens our protections. And. I mean, so far, there haven't been any additions, um, you know, and, and not only that, but I mean, like, it's, dude, it's crazy now, like, it's almost like every day, this team just keeps getting worse and worse and worse, and a lot of it is just their decisions, like, cutting TJ McDonald, there's no real good reason for it, you just do it. These guys, I guess they're injured, but according to sources, their recovery times are short. So why are you cutting them this close to the season? Like we have one game left on Thursday. We don't even know like what half of our starting lineups are going to be. And you're just going to all of a sudden start like cutting all these guys, you know, that were in camp this whole time and everything like and and you so far you're not even addressing the the positions like you're just like are they starting cuts early you know to for down from the 90 to like but i mean it's it's just completely mind-boggling every little bit of this is just fucking mind-boggling uh according to adam beasley by cutting mills and walford another four million in cap space opens up giving the dolphins some 25 million this year which will mostly roll over to 2020 it also raises their dead money total to a staggering 44 million i mean there's no rhyme or reason right and those guys Jordan Mills and Clive Walford were right so and and by the way I, you know I've been following the Dolphins like really close now for the past like five or six years I've been a Dolphins fan um you know since I was like 10 um when I first started watching football they're the first team that I ever rooted for you know and and have been ever since blah 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 so that's like 20 years now that I've been a Dolphins fan. Um, I don't, you know, but again, to be fair, I've only been like super following them really close the past like five or six years, but I can't remember a time when we've had this much turnover within the entire organization, right? Right from the fucking everything, right? So we completely stripped down the front office we completely fired like the entire uh coaching staff from last year brought in a whole new staff had this massive purge in the offseason just let a bunch of guys go cut a whole bunch of other guys but it's not just from one regime to another it's also been within just this regime and it's just wild and chaotic and random it seems there's really no you know rhyme or reason and a lot of it we don't get good answers for just you know 
beat around the bush like vague ass shit and it's like what the fuck is going on what the fuck are you guys doing right now like it's just fucking mind-boggling like none of it makes any fucking sense and it's just a, it's a pile of fucking hot garbage like it's just it's it's absolutely fucking crazy but you know and so these are guys that that brian flores brought in right okay you know you can make the argument well they're injured yeah but apparently it's not that serious stuff and like these are guys he brought in you know at the beginning of camp like okay you know these are going to be guys that i'm going to you know some veterans that i'm going to bring in to help um <clears throat> you know with this transition period but nope and then he fires you know one of his, one of his offensive line coach a week into training camp like i, I really am am not sure if this dude really even knows what he's doing and because just like almost none of the football decisions make any sense leaving the 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 you know the personal shit aside which is you know i mean that just that's on a whole different level right because football at the end of the day is just entertainment for us as fans right it's a living for the players and the coaches and so on and so forth you know whatever there's uh the health aspect for the players right but for us it's just fun it's entertainment so it's very superficial but you know all that other stuff is you know like for me violates some very fundamentally moral you know or my or excuse me violates my fundamental morals right and so but leave all that aside like just the football decisions are just absolutely mind-boggling and just all over the place and i mean who like i don't I don't understand who looks at everything that's been happening and is like, yeah, man, this is a team on the rise. This is a team that's going to be doing good things soon. Like, it's just, it's, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this is just crazy. This is crazy. Oh my God. And apparently, apparently I'm there. I, okay. So. I'm just getting more reports. I, I like I literally just refreshed the motherfucking Oh my god, what are they doing? Oh my god, dude, this is just this is just craziness. So apparently now they've decided to release Akeem Spence and Chase Allen as well. What are they doing? What are they doing? One of our, our interior defensive linemen that you would expect to be in the rotation, a backup linebacker who is like a special teams ace as well. I mean, they save another three million in cap space with no dead money f with those two guys, I guess. But what the fuck are they doing? Apparently, Ryan Fitzpatrick is ill too, as well, so he might not practice today. Oh my god, dude! Like this is just this is the most like absurd shit that I have ever seen. I mean this is this is insanity this is absolute absolute fucking insanity I mean you know apparently Chase Allen and Akeem Spence also have injury designations the other two guys Jordan Mills and Clive Walford though you know apparently I mean, a lot of this is speculative right now, and it's all just coming out, to be fair. Like, I'm actually reacting to some of this in my video that I'm making as it's happening. So, like, but, I mean, I mean this is just, all of this shit is just inexplicable. It's inexplicable. I, I mean, like, I just, 
it's it's even hard to evaluate what they're doing because like there's 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 aside from like that's the thing is is like every bit of information just points to that they are just like I, you know, I don't know if I could say intentionally trying to like destroy the team, but because like I, I have a feeling that they feel like they're doing the right things, but I mean, like it, I just, I, I can't, I can't for the love of me understand how a reasonable, intelligent, logical person looks at all of this mayhem and, you know, somehow their brain puts it together in, into this, like, you know, wonderful thing that's going to be, like, good. Like, now, in the long run, none of this is fuck. Anyway, look, look, I'm, I'm giving y'all the facts. I'm telling y'all, you know, everything that's going on as it's coming out. I mean, obviously, we're going to keep... I, I, I don't know. I don't even know if they're going to bring even new guys in. Like, are they, are they like, because we have one game left. We have one game left. I would think so. I, I mean, but it's, it's super like, like all of training camps over. So if you do bring in more guys, like, are they, would, would they, the games on Thursday, would they even be ready to like you know audition in this last game to like show what they have to prove they can make it are they cutting down early because they're not supposed to cut down until after next game like all, all of this is just super confusing and doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever anyway that's all i got for you guys right now um you know we're definitely gonna keep eyes on this and monitor it and you know as more comes out i will definitely make videos for you i will let y'all know about it um you know and we'll keep it rolling man i i mean I, 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 you know in case you haven't noticed I'm, I'm i'm finding it very difficult to even like come up with words right now because this is like this is it's just it's so mind-boggling that like i can't i can't i'm having the only thing that is logical to me is is that they are like i mean because if it's not intentional if they're not doing it intentionally then they gotta be fucking stupid because they're those are the only options either you're doing this on purpose which i would venture to guess is um the right answer right i mean i i, I would like to you know I think that they're doing all of this stuff intentionally um, and so if they are either they're doing it intentionally because they're trying to you know like quote unquote tank or whatever or they're doing it because they're just like super naive and like or or they're or they're or they're you know there is the option that they're just fucking stupid and don't know what the fuck they're doing and they're just like you know taking swings wherever the fuck and just doing shit on whims because that's what it seems like like it seems like a lot of this shit is just very whimsical like i, I, I don't know it's fucking mind-boggling to me anyway i'm getting the fuck up out of here uh like i said i'm monitoring this close and, you know, any more information comes out, I'll definitely be sure to make a video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts for my videos. Also, make sure you leave your questions, com questions, comments, and concerns down in the comments section. And, of course, as always, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Dylan Tartaro. And with that, I am out. I will see y'all soon. Fins up.